You are listening to the Bonfires and Castles podcast with Tiffany Apan, the place where fantasy, history, and other worlds collide to take you on a magical journey. Well, greetings and welcome to another episode of the Bonfires and Castles podcast. In this episode, we travel into the world of Andrea Dean von Skoyak as we explore one of her latest works, the anthology book, The Caretaker's Cottage Library. This is one for those upcoming dark autumn nights. So sit back, grab a beverage, and join me as we delve into the world of The Caretaker's Cottage. Andrea Dean von Skoyak is an author, visual artist, and filmmaker with a long-standing creative career. She is known for having a wild imagination that can journey to some strange places. If it creeps in the fog or appears at midnight, she's there. And The Caretaker's Cottage Library is one of many works that demonstrates this. The Caretaker's Cottage Library consists of nine tales of tragedy, sorrow, the eerie, and the macabre. A book of somber tales inspired by her love of the strange and unusual. They are tales of mystery, old folklore for the dark academics out there, those that may reside in the shadows of society. Those that enter the world of the caretaker's cottage will enter a world of Gothic Victorian antiquity, reminiscent of Emily Dickinson, Edgar Allan Poe, Sheridan La Fanu, and Emily Bronte with a twist of the Brothers Grimm. There is a slight whimsical sense among the madness woven into the short stories and poems. There are some that can be considered cautionary tales like many of the original fairy tales of long ago. One example of this is the voice. Be careful of who may discover you in the entertainment industry. Others are gothic tales of woe, like Josephine, reminiscent of Edgar Allan Poe's Annabelle Lee, and The Reef. Another cool aspect of these tales is that some of them read like newspaper clippings or journal entries, ones found in an attic trunk after 100 years, waiting to be discovered and have their stories told. The Caretaker's Cottage Library is a book for those dark autumn nights. As the leaves swirl outside and the wind blows, it's one to be read by candlelight with your favorite hot beverage. The book is available on Amazon and Andrea's own bookstore on lulu.com, where she also has a great collection of her other works. You can also connect with her on Instagram with the handle Red Horse Promotions. I want to thank you for listening to this installment of Bonfires and Castles and a big thank you to Andrea for allowing me to review her amazing book. New episodes of Bonfires and Castles drop on Fridays, and I look forward to taking you on many new journeys to come. Visit us on Instagram with the handle Bonfires and Castles. Join our Facebook group, The Gothic Celts Bonfires and Castles. And stay tuned for our new website coming soon. This is Tiffany Apan signing off, and see you someplace in the veil of time. Sleeping in
Thanks. <laughs>